the start of the 21st century, technology and access to the internet have rapidly been increasing. In the year 2000, about 50% of American adults had access to the internet. Now, about more than 90% of American adults have access to the internet, and this continues to grow. With this rapid increase in internet access, there's been a lot of positive benefits to society. For example, one can connect with a long-lost friend, help raise money for a worthwhile cause, or just spend time chatting with friends. However, not all is good with this increase in technology, and it begins to raise concerns for society. Since this rapid increase in technology, there have been a lot of concerns that have arisen, such as misinformation spread online, privacy concerns, and job loss. The first problem I want to address is privacy concerns. As technology grows, so do many big tech companies, such as Apple, Facebook, and Amazon. As these companies grow, they need to collect large amounts of data on their users. For example, with Amazon Alexa, it may collect data on what a person says after Echo. And with genetic t testing companies, it can collect data on when a person submits their own DNA. This information may just seem like surface level information, just like addresses, names, dates, but it can also include much, much more personalized information, such as financial information, uh, personal videos, and photos. But as these companies begin to collect large amounts of data on their users, there begins to raise the concern of what is being used with this data. For example, Capital One faced a security breach where over 100 million other users had their informa financial information hacked by a foreign hacker through an Amazon cloud-based system. Because of this, Capital One was faced to pay $80 million in fines and come up with ways to prevent future security breaches. But not all of these security breaches are from foreign hackers, as can come from the company itself. For example, Facebook has spent a lot of time and money trying to convince its users its data is safe for them. However, they were fined $5 billion by the FTC and after allowing app developers to mine their users' data without their knowledge in political campaigns. Based on these events, there's, it's clear that there's not much oversight over what these companies do with people's data, and there's a need to hold them accountable for what is being used with it. The second problem I want to address is misinformation online. Though misinformation has been around for a long time, it is beginning to keep pace with this rapid increase in technology. Most misinformation is spread online through social media, such as Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat. Take, for example, the 2016 election and the rise of fake news. In this election, the Russian government tried to boost the Republican nominee Donald Trump and hurt the Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton. To do this, they created fake social media accounts to make it look like real ones, but whose main goal was to spread misinformation and propaganda online. These tactics were compared to those of the Soviet Union during the Cold War, but with modern techniques such as social media. Since then, Facebook has spent a lot of time in hiring fact checkers to make sure their information is reliable, but this hasn't completely stopped misinformation from spreading. Such as during the COVID pandemic, there's been a lot of rumors and conspiracies surrounding it. For example, a lot of people online are known as anti-maskers and do not believe in wearing a mask and spread misinformation on it. Not only do they put themselves at risk, but others around them, as they increase the spread of COVID. Based on these events, it is clear that even if you're not on social media, you can still be affected by misinformation spread on it. There is a need to educate the general public on misinformation and to have more trust in uh, social media and information that is put online by holding these companies accountable. The final problem I want to address is job loss due to automation and machines. As technology increases, so do the abilities of automation and machines, as they're do, be able to do jobs better and better. For example, they're, now they're able to do the jobs of factory workers, hardware workers, and uh, truck drivers. And this has already been in effect, as about 88% of job losses from 2000 to 2010 have been from automation and machines alone. And do, they do not only affect these types of jobs, as they can affect higher paying jobs, such as doctors, lawyers, and teachers. But the COVID pandemic has only made this problem worse, as 40 million jobs have been lost because of the pandemic, and 40% of them will never come back. This is because companies have a large incentive to hire machines over humans. 
As compared to humans, machines do not fall ill, do not need time off, and are more efficient in their work. Soon, they were at hospitals taking people's temperatures, and in um, and they were also in uh, airports cleaning uh, floors. They've also been needed to do um, high demand uh, supplies such as cotton swabs and make hospital beds. And in response to this, many people have proposed solutions. For example, with Andrew Yang and his 2020 presidential campaign. In his campaign, he proposed that there should um, be more regulation on machines as AI, it can bring new heights to human achievement, but also it can cause an economic collapse. Bill Gates even proposed a robot tax, in which humans are taxed for their work, but robots do not have the same tax, and it can be a disadvantage to humans. Based on these events, there is a need to keep American jobs alive by level the playing field and making sure that, human, that, that companies do not hire automation over humans. Overall, all three of these problems have a common solution, which is more government regulation. With private information, if there is more regulation on what these companies do with people's information, then people can feel a lot more safer with storing their information with these big tech companies. With misinformation, if there was a lot more fact checkers online and there's a lot, less, lot more trust in these companies, then people can feel a lot safer with what's put online and can start to trust these online news sources even more. With job losses, if there was a so-called robot tax, then people can feel safe that, they're, that they can have their jobs in the future and not have to worry about automation taking it over. But in the end, it is up to the people to make sure that American jobs are protected and so AI can bring new heights to human achievement.